Welcome sailors back to Perfecto. Today we're going to talk about the skylight hatch that I built for Perfecto. This little video is not intended to take you through the building of it step by step, but rather give you an overview of how I went about creating the skylight hatch. First off, I invested a good bit in cardboard to create patterns for the hatch itself and then transferred that information onto the actual mahogany that the skylight hatch is made out of. What made this skylight hatch a little more complicated is the front part of the boat where it meets the bulkhead is at a 20 degree angle to the front of the hatch which is uh, at a right angle. So I had to make sure that all my bevels and everything matched. So when I closed the hatch, it lined up evenly to the bulkhead. Once the base is completed, I move on to the little door panels that will create the gall wing. You can see that there are many pieces to fit on the gall wing hatch. Each one needs to be fit perfectly in order for everything to fit together when it is completed. From the smoked 1 8 inch acrylic inserts to the quarter inch brass dowels. Everything needs to line up in order for this panel to work. For the brass hinges, I contacted a piano maker and had him order me a brass hinge with a brass pin so there's no rust in the future. So the next step is to dry fit everything, make sure everything works, and then begin the varnishing process. The first step in the varnishing process is to seal the wood. In this case, it's all mahogany, and I sealed everything with a coat of uh, thinned out epoxy to fill the pores of the mahogany before the actual varnish goes on. Once the epoxy is dry, I then use a 240 grit sandpaper, sand everything down and begin the varnishing process. I continue varnishing using 240 grit sanding between each coat and the hatch has about seven coats on it. Well, here's the final product mounted to the boat and working just fine. Hope you all enjoyed the video. We'll see you all again next time. Bye.